come back the nvidia driver install was successful and i could tell that even before i booted even before i booted into the main part of the system because when it first booted up the screen that prompts you for the passphrase to unlock the Luke's secure drive because I this, this is an encrypted in drive that the system is installed on it looked different so I automatically knew it was a different graphic drive graphics driver used and also Nvidia came up right after that screen I was successfully entered the passphrase so I already knew it was installed and probably installed properly but once I got in the system I also checked I went to the settings menu well the program menu go to apps go to additional drivers and this is the additional driver screen Here's the screen, another screen also that just shows that I'm using the GeForce GT435M card and that corresponds here. It's using a binary driver, it's an open source NVIDIA 355 driver. So I know that and I can change the driver to use, I can use this. 440, 346 proprietary, but I'm going to stick with the 355. So I'm going to close that. So that was installed successfully. You can also go to NVIDIA settings, put an S on it. I don't have Prime on this on this on this card. It's only one mode. It doesn't switch to. I think isn't. I think Prime is when you can go. It has two cards built in, one and then Nvidia for higher level stuff. But only have Nvidia card. So every you can change all the settings in here if you want. No hybrid graphics, but everything else I can I can change things in here. I don't really need to change anything. I just wanted to use the NVIDIA driver. I'm going to quit. Now I'm going to install CUDA 7.5. And the only reason why I'm installing this is because some things like video editing or Blender can use CUDA, Lightworks, I think requires it, that's a video editing software for Linux, and a few other things you can, you can, you can use it for. So I'm at the CUDA site, the version, current version is 7.5, and CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture is a for like parallel computing type operations. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm go, I'm here and I want to do this for Linux, 64-bit uh, architecture Ubuntu, 14.04. And you can do a run file, which is a shell. You can do a network dev file. I'm just going to do a local dev file. It's 1.9 gigabytes. I already downloaded that. So I'm just going to go over here to my terminal, cd, to the download directory. And you can see it's already there. So I'm going to try to install it. Should be sudo dpkg minus i. CUDA star asterisk and 
see will this install. And there's some other guides here on the site. You get the installation guide, the quick start guide. Last time I installed this, I I installed it with the with the shell script. But this time I, they have it in the depth form, so I'd rather do it like that. This is this is a pretty pretty straightforward. I say okay, that was quick. Let me see if I don't know if this is yeah. usually there's some setup stuff to go with it I'm gonna restart and see if anything's different do I get any extra programs added to the menu in my other install on my other systems where I installed this manually there were a few other software configuration things added like a night insight eclipse edition and some several other settings things so I'm going to see does this one have that too after I restore it okay so that's it for installing the CUDA drivers